Come on, eat it, eat it, eat it. Got him, got him, got him. Come, 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 come on, eat it, eat it. I got him right here. Look at this right next to the boat. Oh my God, that was so cool. Here he comes, here he comes. Eat it, eat it. Yep, got him, got him. Be a steelhead. We want a steelhead. Yeah, steelhead. Yeah. All right, guys, so I am in the garage. It is extremely cold, and tomorrow is probably going to be the last open water video of the year. The reason for that is we have some nasty, crazy cold weather coming ahead here right before Christmas. What does that mean? Everything is going to start locking up in the harbor, so we are probably going to start ice fishing at the end of this week. So ice fishing videos coming at you soon for all you crazy ice fishermen, but not yet. Tomorrow. Going back to my hometown, we went to high school, gonna show you one of my favorite things to do right before ice up, throwing square bills. I got the KVD 1.5, just a bass square bill, and I'm using that, the whole rig I got here, same rig I've been using, the Carbon X 2000, love this reel, super smooth drag, guys, works really, really well in cold conditions, got a carbon drag, light 10 ball bearings, super affordable as well so if you want to pick one of these up and i promise you're going to really like them hit the code eh15 in the description below and uh, when you buy one use that save yourself some money i'm just using like a seven foot walleye rod when i'm throwing these square bills and the one tip is usually as it gets colder right now the water temps are probably going to be in the 30s real close to freezing so i slow my retrieve down a little bit i get it started but i slow my retrieve down that's the one punch the number two punch is you know if they're not going to eat that that square bill then i'm going to have a finesse rod whether i've got a little tube jig and wax worm little little float here you know small four five six gram float two-way swivel i'm going to be using eight pound fluorocarbon or six pound if the water's really really clear just running like a standard lamb of glass rod and again carbon x 2000 with mono i'll be running an eight pound test so that's kind of like my one two punch finesse fish see if they eat the crankbait if they don't eat the crank float fish a little bit i always have both those rods in my boat all the time usually when it's cold last but not least guys we do have ice fishing coming up so i'm going to give away all you got to do is leave a comment have you caught a big brown trout a lake trout just leave me any sort of comment in this week's video and you're eligible to win i'm going to pick a winner only from my youtube page i'm already doing a giveaway on my facebook and instagram page follow me there if you would like but this is for you guys just for you guys on the youtube page pick someone this is one of many of our hot rods and if you haven't ever checked out any of our hot rods check them out the links in the description below 15 year warranty guys this is our medium heavy spinning rod we make them in a bait caster our number one lake trout seller giving it away to you guys just want to let you know leave a comment that's it for the intro i gotta go tie some spawn load up the rods and let's go fishing Here he comes, here he comes. Come on, eat it, eat it. I got him right here. Look at this right next to the boat. Oh my God, that was so cool. He came right up off the bottom. That was so cool. Heck yeah. Water is so cold. They just come to the top and they start thrashing. Yep, 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 yep. That was cool. Late winter. Starting the winter, I should say early winter. Come on, big browns, square billing them up. Got to show you guys this fish. This is a nice one. Heck yeah, look at this, guys. Beautiful, colored up. Seaforellin, brown. Man, great, beautiful colors on this fish. All right, on the square bill. 
came right up off the bottom and crunched it. On the square bill, come here. Whoa, 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 whoa. Easy does it. All right, we'll see you this winter. See you, bud. A few moments later. It's dead. My GoPro died, and I'm going to net him. Get in that net. All right, we got him. We got him. Even with my GoPro dying, there he is. Number three, pretty fish. All males so far today. All right, I got to change the batteries in this. All right, we're going to switch it up and go to spawn. This is about nine feet deep here. We're going to try to finesse them up. Any fish around? fish right here at 20, 30 feet. Here he comes, here he comes. Eat it, eat it. Yep, got him, got him, be a steelhead. We want a steelhead. Yes, steelhead. Yes, yes, yes. On the float. The other GoPro died. I mean, it just seems like that one dies right when I get one going. That was cool. Take him. Fish number, steelhead number one in the harbor. Yeah. He's all wrapping up. Of course, that GoPro, she just died. I tried tried to get you the hook set, but it died. It's cold, the batteries die out here in the cold right away. All right, let's go, nice steelhead, come here. Oh, yes. In the harbor, first steelhead. So what I was talking to all you guys before, that you say you can't get spawned, right? Well, oh my God, there goes my GoPro. That one's dying. Here you go. If you can't get spawned, there's a female. What you do is you t rip the gills out. I'm going to smoke this fish up, keep a couple steelhead in the fall, and uh, there I'll have a nice plump amount of eggs. Come on, eat it, eat it. Got him, got him, got him. Yes. Yes, be a little steelhead. Come on, we want a little steelhead. Next in, oh, another little brownie. It's all right. We will take him. It's been a pretty good day today, guys. We'll grab the net real quick. On the spawn bag. I didn't do that on purpose. I know my GoPro was not, my chesty was not recording. But that one was recording for the big mama battle. Look at this, guys. A giant, giant female brown here. Just a giant. All right, guys, water's kind of dirty, but that is a tanker. See you later, see you later. There she goes. I'm gonna show you that fish real quick. Another nice little male in the river. Is that a loon? No, that's a fire truck. This is my hometown Racine. 
right where I grew up, you get to hear these lovely sounds for all my friends up in Minnesota, the Upper Peninsula, anywhere away from the city, I am a little jealous. But that is a wrap for this week's video, guys. Hopefully you learned something in these really, really cold conditions. We've got floating ice up and down the river right now right before ice up you can still get them on square bills and you can still get them on spawn so hopefully the tips help you under tough cold conditions come out here take advantage of the world-class fishery hit that subscribe button leave me a comment and that's it for this week's video see ya